Mackinac and Beer Festival is on at Waterfront Park. The sun is shining. We could not ask for a better day. There are over 40 breweries here. We're doing some sampling. Look at this, my mug is empty. How did that happen? They do have an after party series that's going on as well. And Grimm's Fine Foods are gonna be there handing out some meat sticks as well as some sampling as well. It's all happening right now at the Great Okanagan Beer Festival. Well, we are trying the... Uh, last strawberry, strawberry wit beer. Awesome. Nice, and that's with Fuggles and Warlocks. Where are you guys based out of? We're based out of Richmond, BC. We're their first craft beer brewery. You taste this beer. What, no, what are the flavors of it? Well, predominantly strawberry, but oh, okay. it still is a wit beer. It's not going to be overly sweet. We sweeten it with lactose, which is a milk sugar. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's still going to get the tartness from the strawberry as well. Wow, this is actually really good. I, I don't want to call it like a smoothie, but it's like, it's so smooth. Yeah, it's so and that's smooth. what the lactose does. It's a milk sugar, so it gives it that mouthfeel. And a little bit of that sweetness and creaminess. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you. These are our good friends from Bad Tattoo Brewing in Penticton. I got to stop by a couple Saturdays ago in anticipation for the Great Okanagan Beer Festival. Now, Rob, you've just filled up my little glass here. What is it? Uh, the Los Muertos Cerveza Negra. Oh, okay. This one's great. Even though it's dark in color, it's actually very light in flavor. Yeah. Uh, we make it just dark enough so that uh, with the different types of malts, uh, that it will uh, make it dark uh, without adding any like roasty flavors or you know chocolate flavors or coffee flavors. But it still has that kind of light, yeah, like light in the background. Flavor. Yeah. Exactly. It's wonderful. I am with you, Dane, here with Ryder Cider Company. I absolutely love your apple lime twist of course, I cider. Have some beer with you. And uh, give you a little taste of that. That's what we can try at the Great Okanagan Beer Festival. There you are. And the, the thing I love about this one is it's so nice and dry and crisp. It is, and it's perfect in in the summer with the heat. And the, with the apple, it's definitely a nice little twist. And look at that color on it. It's gorgeous. And it's got the the, the lime twist. I love it so much. Now you guys are based out of. Kelowna, we're um, down on Ellis yeah. um, and Clement down there, and yeah, so it's a local product. Um, perfect for you. Yeah, I'm a happy man. I got the smile on. I mean, <laughs> in the last week, you've seen me. I've been running around. Yeah. I've been stressed out, but I mean, with the turnout and the support of the community, yeah. um, I mean, it's a great day. Beautiful weather, pouring beer. We're loving it. You having fun? Oh, I'm having so much fun. I've been trying all the different uh, beers today, yeah. and I know that a lot of the breweries were excited to be a part of this beer fest. Yeah, I know. We, uh, we, we've we had breweries calling us up to the last minute. We're like, yo, can we get in there? Can we get in there? And we're like, oh, can't. We're full, <laughs> unfortunately. So. What about next year, though? What What are your plans? What I are you know. hoping for? Everyone keeps talking about next year. We're obviously going to come back, so we're, we're uh, I mean, Maybe we'll look at a two-day a two-day main event festival. Like this year, we did three three days, but the main event, which everybody loves, which we're here for, yes. um, sold out uh, earlier this week. So next year, maybe we'll talk about doing that.